everybody for a little action and adventure! Director, Hi, my Cheryl. job is to select a few of you to be extras in our film shoot. You know, when you have a big production like this one, you need to have extras to be the crowd scenes. That helps bring everything to full life. Now, due to the nature of the film shoot, you've got to be at least 18 years of age. And if you're chosen, you just take the steps closest to you. These ropes are a magnet. Just pull them apart from the middle. That's where the magnet is. Drop them open and join me on the set. Now that we got that business out of the way, I need some screamers in the house. <laughs> and the pink uh, top there, about five, six rows up with a blonde ponytail with the glasses on top of your head. Come on down now. We'd love to have you. You, sir, in the Superman t-shirt, I'd love to have you join us. I heard some screaming over here. Woo! We'd love to have you. Now, you guys, come right out here on the set. We're going to line you up in a row and show everybody your screaming skills. But first, we want to find out who you are. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Hey, Xavier. I don't speak in English. Hey! Some of Argentina. All right, we got Argentina. Nice to have you. What's your name? Where are you from? Tony from Michigan. All right, Tony. And last but certainly not least, your name, where are you from? Charity from Nashville. Right, it's a place to be from Charity. Now I'm going to have you three scream on my cue as loud and wild as we can, okay? Here we are in the Mayan Temple, looking around for Indiana Jones. All of a sudden, you fall in a pit of thousands of slimy snakes. Go! <laughs> They'll be perfect. Give it up for my screamers. Come on over here. We'll let you lead the way, Charity, if you want to head to the top of the stairs. Wardrobe is waiting for you. Oh, come on over here, Mr. Argentina. Yeah. You have a costume now. You're in the film shoot. Yep, just head right on up those steps. Yep, and don't forget to sign the waiver. <laughs> oh, right, I'm ready for some more people in a happy mood. That's going to be easy with this group. This guy. Oh, yeah. Woo! You two guys sitting side by side in the white and the blue shirt. Come on out. Let's get another happy person. Trying to get my attention, you guys come on out. Now, by show of hands, who has seen an Indiana Jones film? Right, pretty much everybody. So you know there's a lot of humorous moments. You three are my lappers. What's your name, where are you from? I'm Rosella, I'm from California. Oh, me too. And um, I see you got happily ever after. Did you just get married? Yeah, I got married on Saturday. Oh, well, congratulations to you. Like Cinderella would once the prince shows up with her shoe. <laughs> That's sweet. I like that. That works. What's your name? Where are you from? Rich from New Hampshire. Okay, now Rich, I want you to give me a silly, goofy kind of laugh. <laughs> all over that one. Good job. And what's your name? Where are you from? Zach from New Hampshire. Okay, now Zach, bring it home and give me an evil, scary, frightening laugh. <laughs> we got some laughers. Let's give these three a hand. It's not you guys. Hey, I got the steps. I'm seeing the moment. A lot of people make fun of the clips and glamour of showbiz. It's not always glamorous. Your patience can be tested. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Because we're on such a good roll, but I'd like to get one more group of extras. I think we need a few more. So I'm playing that. standing room area, and then we've got another lady, right? Oh, she's pointing. That gets me in trouble. Let's get this lady in the beach shirt right here. Now, you guys, we're going to do some poses to show the patience it takes to be an extra. You, sir, are going to get the grand finale. What's your name? Where are you from? Troy Brown from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay, Troy, you hang tight right there, and sir, you stay right there. Ma'am, I'm going to put you on the other side of Troy, and I'll be with you in just a moment. To keep things moving, I'll start with you. What's your name? Where are you from? Andrew from Chicago. All right, Bud City. Now, Andrew, I'm going to give you a pose, then you do the same thing, okay? Like you're trying to stop yourself from falling off a very steep cliff. Keep your way for us. How nice, beautiful. Now, don't move it. That looks really good, okay? Now, it's down here to you. 
what's your name? Where are you from? Annette from Indiana. Annette, I want you to give me a pose like you are terrified. A 400 pound boulder could fall on you. That looks good, Annette. Hold that pose with Andrew. Now, Troy, like I said, you got the grand finale. And here's your pose. Take it away, Troy. The family is videotaping you. <laughs> and hold it nice. <laughs> now, many times, extras have to hold poses for hours. You see, they've got to adjust the lighting and the camera angles. So continuity and patience is ever so important. They certainly do have patience, don't they? You guys take it out. Let's give it up for these guys. Well done. Everybody have right up those steps. I'll see you in a moment. But you know, folks, we're going to get some crap reactions from you guys. So I'm going to split the house in the middle. This side, give me an ooh. I love it. Over here, can I get an ah? Now remember those parts, and momentarily when Indy appears, well, we know he's going to save the day, so let's give him a huge welcome with a whole lot of applause, cheering, screaming, stomp your feet, whistle if you can, toss your kids in the air and get a squeal out of them. You know, as you were coming in, we randomly chose some assistant directors to help us out. That's these three brothers. Come on out, fellas. Let's give them a nice round of applause for helping us. What a nice looking group you guys are. Line up so we can all see you. What's your name and how old are you? Jared and I'm nine years old. And what about you? What's your name and how old are you? Ashton and eight. Eight years old. Let's come on down here and think about what's your name and how old are you? Jeremiah, I am six years old. Right, okay. Now these brothers are going to shout out three words at the top of their lungs. This crowd's going to go wild for you. You guys are going to make this film shoot star. Are you ready? Here we go on the count of three. On one, two, three.
Tommy, that looked great, but do you have to cut it so close to that boulder? Well, finally get better that way, boss. Besides, our smart. Tell me. Make sure it stays on. Indiana Jones never loses his hat. You ready to move on? Yes, sir. All right, Rob, check the gate. Make sure we got that shot. New deal. Mark Cairo in five. You got it, boss. Let's go and strike this my attempt. We need Cairo in five minutes. Everybody, Cairo in five. So, what you guys think of the opening scene? Scene one. Yeah, awesome. Well, welcome to the set. Hi, everyone. My name is Mark Daniel. I am the assistant director of the second unit. Now, folks, the second unit is where all the action lives in the movies. You see, the second unit usually shoots a lot of the stunt and action sequences before movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Today, I'm going to show you guys how stunt work on the second unit is actually created. Sound like fun? All right, hold on, hang for a second. Hey, boss. Yeah. I'm sorry, can I borrow a loop for like one minute? You know what, you can, but I got a lot more to shoot, all right? Just keep that in mind. Thank you very much, I will. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to one of Harrison Ford's stunt double. Please, give it up for Luke Deal. Hey, everybody, thanks so much for coming out. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Yeah. Hey, Luke, I wanted to bring you right into applause, man. Hey, what sequence could the least came? Off of the Uh, do me a favor, tell us all, how do you pull that off? Well, that's easy. Uh, just another day in the office. <laughs> Spoken like a two fall guy. Come on, man, you gotta be a little bit scared, right? Okay, well, I'll be crazy, not to be. You guys saw that boulder, let me tell you. Unbelievably heavy. Yep. And, uh, and in fact, it takes 20 guys just to place that thing back in position. Yeah, obviously the other 18 can <laughs> fall down sick today, right, Luke? <laughs> okay, sorry, you got me. That is not a real boulder. But Mark, tell me, it's not a cotton ball. No, it is not a cotton ball, folks. Oh, oh, you were looking at about 400 pounds of rubber. Now, we needed that much to make a ball of business. Right, and Luke, you're running for a reason with 400 pounds on your back. That's going to do some damage. A lot of damage, yeah. There is a certain amount of risk involved in every stunt that we do here. If I really did trust stunt, you know, to watch my back, never would have attempted any of it. Here's all about teamwork. Oh, speaking of teamwork, I didn't get you back to the team. All right, you guys, give me go with Luke Deal. Yeah, thank you. You're going to see a lot more stunts with that guy. Now, let's talk about the stunts you're going to see today. They're going to be very real. As is the risk involved in performing those stunts. But like Luke said, our cast and crew train professionals today. We're going to show you guys some incredible stunts, as well as the detailed preparations they want to make in every stunt happen. Oh, Mark? Yeah. Are you ready for the extras? Of course I am. Bring them on to the set. Let's give our actors a big round of applause. Yeah. They looked the part. You guys went to uh, wardrobe. Ladies and gentlemen, you look fantastic. Look at them. Yeah, they look the part, right? They got their robes on, they got their turbans on, they got their classic 1930s Egyptian running shoes on. Okay, we'll make it work. Welcome to the set. Okay, here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to need some more acting from each and every one of you. So what I'm going to do is I will yell out some emotions, okay? And I want you extras to act them out. But when you act, I need you to overact. I want you to be loud and physical. And I want you to keep it going until I say, cut. You got it? Say, yeah. Yeah. All right, remember, it's over the top, okay? First emotion, you are all very happy. <laughs> keep it going nice and big, lots of happiness. Yeah. And cut. Good. All right, I like it. Same energy, but now give me angry. Wow, this is good. Yes. And cut. Woo. Give me one more. Give me terrified. Troy's 
Death Sea. Yes. Work it, Troy. Yes. There you go. Fight it. Try to get up, Troy. You can do it. Yes. Mm, the reaching out is good. I like that touch. Oh. Whoa. It's over for Troy. Well done. Thank you. Here we get back in line. You are still alive. Okay, you are all fantastic. Can't wait to see you all in C2. Right now, we're going to give you a moment to meet your co-stars up close and personal. Let's welcome back Luke Deal. Yeah. Yeah. And now, we're representing the women in the stunt industry. Give it up for Karen Allen and stunt double Michelle Whitman. Hi, right. Hey, Michelle. Say hi to the exit. Now, folks, as you can see, we have cleared the Mayan Temple. We're now in Cairo. Marketplace, things in the sale. Who will do the shopping? That is where our extras come in. Okay, extras, here is your motivation for C2. You are shopping with Indy and Marion on a beautiful day in Cairo. What can go wrong, right? Everything is gonna go wrong because you are in an action movie and the bad guys are sneaking up on our heroes. In fact, right now, let me hear everyone go, ooh. That was good. <laughs> but I was talking to these guys. But I like it from here, all the way down. Let me hear you. Nice, okay. From here, all the way down, let me hear you. Good, let's make sure we're ready to go. Thumbs up, all the way down. Just wait on one guy to pay attention. Anytime now. Yeah, thank you. All right, keep it out there, okay? Apparently he takes you to your breaks. All right, you guys, turn around, head to Cairo. Good luck, everybody. Watch the step on and off the mat. Hey, boss. Yeah. I am done with this. I'll be right there, Mark. Guys, gotta get this in one. All right, check this out. It's pretty safe. Let's go get your clothes on. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to a very busy man here on stage. It's a great girl. It's such you're about to see. And he's my boss, second unit director, Mr. Kevin Bassar. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You picked a great time to come and see us. And I gotta tell you one of the great things about the Indiana Jones films. Most of the stunt sequences were shot old school, meaning they were shot live and in front of these cameras. We do the same thing here, thrilling, often dangerous, but if you've seen those movies, you already know how great they look on film. Sit back, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, uh, boss, yeah, well, I got the extra set up. You want to do last looks? No matter what, I will take last looks, but I gotta go over camera with Robert, all right? Hey, Robert? Yes. What's, uh, what's final? Oh, you're gonna love this, boss. I got a, I got a two camera shot, camera A's on the crane. Camera B is here on the dolly. I have a tracking shot with camera B to follow the action when it moves through the building. And camera A is going to shoot at 36 frames per second, 724, to give you that signature Todd Warren slow motion option that you love so much. And then we're going to go back to the left with camera B. Boss, you're going to love this. I'm going to move into a little tighter shot, a three quarter shot on that truck. What do you think? I think it's great, Robert. Thank you so much for paying attention. Yeah, I got a lot of time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my DP or director of photography, one of the best in the business, Robert. Eric. Yeah. Luke, that sounds great. Changes I made in the work routine you're good with. Uh, yes, sir. I appreciate it. Come on over here. Listen, well, I got both of you here. Top of the scene, you're both casually shopping in the marketplace. It's all very casual at first. You'll both enter from behind the closed racks. Any questions? No, sir. All right, the marketplace places, I'm going to need you both at one. Yeah. Extras, you look fantastic. Nice job, Cheryl. Hello over there. Just want to make sure you understand. You got a big job ahead of you. You're a small group, and it's up to you to represent the entire population of Cairo. Can you do it? Cheryl, they sound great. You're going to stay with them? The whole scene, boss. Mark, lock it down. You got a boss locking it down in these places, everybody. Extras are looking good. Indy, Marion, we're doing this. Stunt team at the truck. You guys in position? Got it. Let me know when cameras are ready, Robert. Cameras are ready, Mark. Okay, we need quiet on the set. Listen up, this is not a rehearsal. So, roll cameras. Rolling. Speed. Playback, background, action!
Scott. So, you know, not everything goes right all the time, right? You can't have, that's okay, it happens. But I just thought you could, I introduced you because I'd like you to take a second and tell everybody in your own words about the dangers of working with explosives. Yeah. Well, when you work with explosives, <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Go away. <laughs> All right, so working with explosives is dangerous, we get that. However, you might be more surprised to learn that more stun people can get injured doing a simple fight routine as opposed to one of the more elaborate stunts like the ones you're about to see in this next scene. Because when I choreograph a stunt fight, my guys are throwing punches and swinging swords with the same intensity it takes to actually hit somebody. You know, we miss by a couple of inches. It takes timing, practice, coordination to really make it look like you're hitting somebody. You don't really sell so, it. You know what? We have some time. Instead of talking about this, I think I'd rather show you. Hey, Cheryl, I'm going to borrow one of your extras for a simple demonstration. Okay, but I first want to thank y'all for helping us out. You've done such a great job. How about the guy in the end? Sir, you want to help us out? A little demo? Come on up. How about a round of applause for our great volunteer here? Thanks again for helping us out. Tell me your name. Andrew Wayfield. Shut up. Nice to have you here, Andrew. Listen, stay right there. Don't move. I need one more thing. Hey, Mark. Yeah, give me one of my guys I can look for. Uh, hey, Rich. Yeah, well, I want you to punch that guy. Very simple. I'm just going to do what I do. Okay, put your fist up like that. Take a good fight stance, kind of hook her down, and then turn around. This is who you're going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Rich, that's not going to work. You got a big scene coming up. Go get ready for that. Yeah, you're right. He's too big. So let me find somebody more your size. Michelle! Excuse me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Perfect. Listen, I want you to do a fight routine for me. Just keep it to the basics, okay? We're going to do this gentleman right here with Andy, right? Andy, this is Michelle. I've got to go over the next setup with Mandy, but you're good, right? Yes, sir. All right, so you're in good hands. Just do as she says. All right. Thank you for helping us, sir. I'm going to place you back just a little bit. Follow me. Right about right here will be fine. That's good. Don't move. I'll draw the work, okay? Yes. Now, in a fight routine, checking a punch is just as important as throwing one. Stunt 
their own stunts. Sometimes this can make uh, well, too great. No, excuse me, if a real star were to get hurt, shut down the entire production. Besides, Paris and I are doing a job, right? Even our best friends are going to have a hard time falling apart. Guys, let me go over and change their making, please. Oh. You know what? If there's one big difference between you and Harrison Ford, two hundred million dollars. <laughs> All right, here's the change. When we got out of the hellfire, is down. You panic, hit the control, right. start going in circles. All of that's the same. Right. But I want to get to the action between these two a little sooner. Yes, Take sir. them out on that first revolution. All right. A lot of firepower in the next scene. Stay sharp. Hit your marks, Rich. All right. Call it Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, places, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, this last scene is a culmination of all the effects you've seen so far. Now, one thing is sure, what you're about to watch would not take place if it weren't for the collective efforts of our entire cast and crew working together as a team to create what we like to call here on the Indiana Jones set a little bit of movie magic. Right, guys? Lock it down. Let's go. Places, everybody. Up on the hill. We're doing this. Effects ready? Mark, ready to go. Thank you. Camera's ready. Camera's ready, Mark. Okay, quiet on the set. Quiet, ladies. Roll cam. Rolling. Watch your drink. Speed. On the 16th Charlie, take a flight and
Hey guys, it's Ben from Theme Park Groupie. Thanks for watching our video of Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. This is so awesome. There have been rumors for years now that it's going to be going out the door and it's still there, it still stands strong, and I hope it stays there much longer because it's so much fun. If you haven't seen it, you guys definitely need to go watch it in person because it's epic. Thanks for watching our video. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that like, comment, and share button and hit subscribe too if you aren't subscribed already because we got a lot more coming. Thanks guys for watching. Theme Park Ruby.